What's up, Scorpios? This is Mommy Wata, and I'm here to perform a general collective reading for anyone who has Scorpio anywhere in your birth chart, okay? This message is for you. So we're gonna hop right into it with a message from the universe. Holy Spirit, what would you like for my Scorpios to know at this time? What is the message for Scorpios, Holy Spirit? Messages from the universe for my Scorpio collective. Let's go. Let's see here. Messages. Scorpio, y'all ready to get on the 105, okay, and cruise away. Y'all ready to, to move on is what I'm hearing. The time is right. Ooh, child, what I just said. Seize the day and make progress on your soul path. I think that's the message for y'all. Ooh, on the bottom it says, tear down the walls around your heart. Give and receive security and warmth. And I got one more for y'all. I think this is y'all energy. Success and happiness are coming. Enjoy and celebrate life, okay? So Scorpio, the time is right. You just need to tear down the walls around your heart because success and happiness are on its way to you. You just have to believe, okay, that the time is now, the time is right, Scorpio. So we are gonna get some tarot on it, y'all, so y'all can get some more insight into what the Holy Spirit wants y'all to know here. Let's see. Let's go with my old faithfuls, my rider weights. This was my very first tarot deck. When I want to get the real spill, I will pull this deck out. Like if I want to ensure that the message is completely accurate, we pull this out. So let's see what Holy, the Holy Spirit wants y'all to know. Holy Spirit, what would you like for my Scorpio Collective to know at this time about this energy here? Or what's the message in general, Holy Spirit? What type of insight and clarification do you have for my Scorpios at this time, Holy Spirit? Let's go. Messages. Messages from my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Child, I can't make it up, though. Ten of Cups. Like the card said, happiness and success are coming. A Ten of Cups is cornucopia a ten of cups is what you can have in your future okay we have the two of cups and we have a high priestess here okay so maybe you have been considering or hmm maybe you have been thinking about a relationship with someone in particular possibly a high priestess of pisces here another water sign you're trying to decide if you should approach this person with this Knight of Wands energy or walk away for good. But the Holy Spirit is saying the time is right, Scorpio. It's time to experience a rebirth in your life. It's time to tear down the walls around your heart, child. There we go. This is why this energy is out here, okay? It's time for you to experience a rebirth with this energy that you want to be in a Two of Cups with. Here we go with this Fool card. The time is right. The Holy Spirit is prompting you, urging you even, to charge towards the person that you know is right for you, that you know you want to have a rebirth with here. What else, Holy Spirit? We have this Emperor. Okay, I may be talking to a masculine here okay but you definitely have a lot of passion for this person and you want to move forward towards them here but it's something you're gonna have to give up if you want to do that with this ten of wands look you're gonna have to put your guard up to the devil that was the next two cards out here so there's this a karmic energy in your life that the Holy Spirit is saying you're going to have to put your guard up to. You're going to have to be like ice on that ass, okay? If you want to move on to calmer waters with this two of cups. Mm. 
The cycle has to end, sir. Because I feel like whoever this is I'm talking to, this person has you in the Five of Pentacles anyway. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? What else would you like for my Scorpios to know at this time? What other messages do we have for Scorpios? We got the Five of Cups. Clarify this energy, Holy Spirit. I feel like this is your energy, Scorpio. You know, whoever you're, you've been dealing with, whether you are feminine or masculine, they the fuck came out as the fucking devil, okay? I mean, we just gonna keep it real here. They came out of some old karmic, toxic, manipulative ass energy that you've been celebrating with. And if you want to celebrate with this person that you want to be monogamous and be in a commitment with, you're going to have to give up this other energy. Okay? It's the time is right to let it go. That's what I'm hearing. The time is right to move forward to this Two of Cups energy that you really want to be with. And the time been right for you to let go of the devil, honey. Okay? Look, we got the Knight of Swords. And we got the Three of Swords on the bottom. So, this Three of Cups, you know, it also talks about your decision to, to celebrate with whoever this is. Maybe you were celebrating and dealing with both of these people simultaneously. I thought, I feel like you thought you could have happiness with whoever this devil energy was, but they broke your heart somehow. Maybe they were celebrating with somebody else, child. Clarify this energy, Holy Spirit, for Scorpios. Clarify this energy for me. Scorpio, we got the Two of Wands. Whatever happened with this devil energy, Scorpio, you just knew it was time for you to move on, okay? You knew, you, you can hear the ice cracking in this relationship. Whoever this is that you were trying to have something with. But you're ready to have peace and celebrate and have abundance elsewhere here. And I feel like this devil energy has heart in your heart, okay? You can see this Ten of Cups cornucopia energy. You can see this happiness and success, but your heart has been hardened by this karmic energy you were dealing with. And I feel like that is what is keeping you from approaching this Two of Cups energy that you know you want to be with, that you know you can have success and happiness with. We have the Five of Wands. Clarify this Five of Wands energy. Scorpios, who y'all dealing with? Whoever this is, honey, I just saw this was judgment, yup. Yeah. You need to, to, I can't tell you what you need to do, but the Holy Spirit is saying that you need to, <laughs> and it keep coming out, so fuck it. You need to make a decision. I feel like you tired of all of this drama and conflict and bullshit that you're experiencing with this karmic energy here. You can see that it can be better. The beach is better over there, okay? Maybe you thought the beach is better over here with this karmic energy, Scorpio, but the beach is better over where you're looking at with this high priestess two of cups energy, and you know that. Because of the current drama that you're experiencing with this karmic energy here, okay? So you're going to have to decide, ma'am, sir, whoever I'm talking to. I'm picking up on a masculine, but I feel like it's some feminines who are going through the same thing. You're trying to hold on to somebody that's no good for you. And until you do so, you're going to be in the, you, until you let them go, excuse me, you're going to be in the five of wands. Mm. Any final messages for my Scorpios? Anything else you want them to know, Holy Spirit, at this time? Any final messages? But, I mean, you got it. You got cornucopia, so it's like you got to put one foot forward, sir, and decide to balance your life. Ma'am, I'm telling you, I think it's a masculine and a feminine dealing with this. 
We got the Queen of Wands. You're dealing with a karmic energy who I do feel like has been out here celebrating with others. And they have been making your life hard. They've been very hateful, very deceitful. I'm getting with this Five of Swords. They don't want you to move on. Look at this card. Whoever this is, it could be a masculine. It could be a feminine too. But whoever this is, they do not want you to move on towards this other person. Okay? They ain't going for that shit. But it don't matter what they want. It's about what you want and what you're willing to do, Scorpio. You know, you definitely, judgment is out here. You got to make a decision. You want to add this physical bonus to your life. You want success and happiness. You tired of being in this, this fucking karmic, toxic ass energy. You see what you can have over here with this other person. You can be in the six of wands. But you have to decide. Anything else? Anything else? We ha you have to decide if you want that Ten of Pentacles, if you want that success and happiness in your life. But the only way you're going to get it is if you put your guard down and you go get it. <laughs> okay? You got to put your guard down and you got to go get what you want, Scorpio. Okay? So I think I'm going to drop the mic here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you with the insight and clarification that you're looking for, Scorpios. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates and leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one for y'all. Peace.